Hello Capricorn, how are you guys doing? This reading is for you, okay? So I just want to clear the energy really quick. Okay, you have the world and you have the eight of wands. Something here, you know, you've been working on, you're going to hear about something that you've been working on. It's like you're getting to a level here. where you're passing like the um putting your dues in for something you're passing this time of like a gestational period of waiting for approval to start something to do something there's something here that you're getting you're achieving and you're going to get some sort of tangible results proof of you being right this could be about a past relationship that you needed to end that you needed to move away from that was not in your best interest so you could have spoke out about something that somebody did to you that was it was wrong it was disrespectful and this could go from a minor thing to very serious and there is something here where you had to like cut ties sever ties move on from a situation close out a chapter here and there is something here where you're going to be getting some sort of reci reciprocity for this for some kind of a wrong and it's going to be shown that you are right for some of you this could be having to do with a fixed sign with a leo with a taurus a scorpio um or an Aquarius. Some of you let's see about this. Let's see. This could have been something that you closed out a while ago and now it's like you almost forgot about it and now something is gonna happen with this. You have the four of swords, sanctuary, rest. I feel like there, there's coming to a time where it's like, you know, you know when you're working and you're like trying to prove yourself or something, this is like this energy of like, um, you've gotten to a certain point, so now you can rest, you know? It's like now you're on the team, you know? Now you have been approved for something. And so there's something here where it's going to be easier for you. Now you're going to get some sort of understanding and it's like, oh, okay. So now that you've reached this level that you got to this point, it's like, okay, I can take some rest. Like I can back off a little bit. It's like in the beginning, you know, before you have reached the success, before you have reached a particular status, you know, you kind of just got to go all in. You got to say yes to everything. You got to put all this work in. And I feel like that's where you've been at. You have the five of swords, the strategy and resilience here. You know, the five of swords is victorious, but it is after a huge, 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 it's like a lot of loss, a lot of fighting, a lot of, you know, finally getting to a place of like, okay, but there was, there was a lot of conflict. There was a lot of difficulty. Yeah, you have the um, five of crystals here. This is the Five of Pentacles in this deck with the Wheel of Fortune. So there is something here that finally is going to start to change here. And you're going to get some sort of a recognition because it's like you're the only one that has been putting in all of this work. And you, you've been getting nowhere with it. And that is like 
about to change. It's like you're an intern that was working so, 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 so very hard. And then finally you're getting, you know, what it is that you're wanting here, this promotion, this job, you know, this, uh, you have the eight of, of, of pentacles. Yeah, this has to do with work, dedication and progress. There's progress to be made here. Seven of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles. You have the Nine of Swords and you have the Queen of Swords here. This could be, you know, it's like giving me Devil Wears Prada kind of energy. You know, the end goal may not be to stay with something. And you may get an opportunity to, so it's like kind of like the energy of the intern that finally gets the job and you're like, well, you know what? I decided I'm going to open my own company. Like, screw you. Screw your money and screw your promotion and everything and the whole thing. It could be like a clique of people that you just didn't fit in with and you find your clique of people here because you have the four of wands next. With the four of pentacles. So this is a lot of stability that is coming in for you and a lot of reason to celebrate here. And it's like at the end of the Devil Wears Prada, you know, Anne Hathaway, she doesn't stay there at that company. You know, she has another goal in mind. And this has to do, this is very reminiscent of like, you know, if you're the best assistant, <laughs> no one's going to promote you. What's that movie? Two Weeks Notice? Is it Two Weeks Notice? No. No, 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 no. This is the movie with Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds. And she's from Canada and, and, and he is an intern and she doesn't want to, or an assistant, whatever. He barely makes any money and he does insane amounts of work. You know the story, right? And she doesn't want to, his book, she doesn't want to give it to a publisher. She doesn't want to promote, you know, publish his book. She doesn't want him to succeed and to do what she does, even though he's already doing her job, you know, because he's the best assistant she ever had. So why is she going to, you know, that wouldn't be very smart for her, right? So there's, there is something here about being strung along, strung along, strung along. And there's something here about taking something into your own hands. And we'll see when we clarify. Let's see the world, right? Let's see the world. What's the world about? What turned over? Six of Wands and the Four of Wands. Wow. The Four of Wands twice. You know, and that they end up getting married in the movie. He pretends to be her fiance so she doesn't get deported and it turns out they're in love of course they are how beautiful and they end up marrying each other for real and it ends up being a for real love so what do you know Yeah, the six and the four of wands that came out together. So this is happening because of putting down some kind of a burden where you're not going to do something that is not 100% your dream. You're not going to settle and you're not going to take on things for other people anymore. This is breaking out on your own. That's that's what this is talking about. And, you know, that's what the world is, is really talking about here. Is to stick up for yourself and know your value, know your worth. What's the eight of wands? Six of pentacles. With the world. Yeah, okay. Six of pentacles is not even. It's not an even give and take type of a situation. This is somebody giving and two other people receiving and there is no reciprocity here. You can only do this for so long, you know, to where this is not beneficial anymore, you know, and it's beneficial for everyone else, you know, 
for you to be succeeding, for people with good hearts to be succeeding in this world, to have a lot of money and to do that in a capacity where you're still able to grow. You know, financially you can give, but you need to give at the percentage where you're still getting more because, you know, that's how you can continue to grow how much money you're going to get. And then you can, you know, it's like you can't give away all your money in the beginning. <laughs> you know, you, you have to know how to, some people, you know, they started amazing charities, you know, and that's really wonderful, but they have to pay attention to how much they receive and how much they give for this. And that has, that was not watched in some area of your life. And that's going to change. You're changing that. Or something that you realized. Something needed to be given. Or something needed, to, you know, you need to move away from situations that are not giving to you. Communication about, hey, I need to receive more or I'm out. And it's like you have the world twice here. It's like this is talking about, hey, no, I'm not doing this anymore. Because this is why she has this wreath around her. This is boundaries that are being set up. And this is in all of the different, you know, elements you have. So there is like all kinds of ways where you're not going to let your passion run you. With Leo here, you know. You're not going to let your um, emotions run you and people run your emotions. No, that's not happening. You know, you're not going to let um, people just buying you things. They can't buy you off, you know, and mentally you're not going to let your mind uh, worry and fear and all of that control what it is that you do so that you you give to a situation that's not giving back to you. No, it's like you, you've learned from all of those different situations in your life. What's the four of swords? Two of cups. You know, pulling away and healing from situation that's it was never going. Some of you are realizing something that it was never going there. This is somebody who's always telling you, oh yeah, we'll get married, we'll get married. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, 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 sure. But they never did they really ever have an intention of proposing? Did they really ever have an intention of, you know, you were never going to come meet my family, were you? No, they were just stringing it along, stringing it along, stringing it along, stringing it along. And this is you saying, you know, I'm done. I'm cutting that out, taking the rest that you need for yourself to heal yourself here. It's very telling that this is a bear and hibernation period is over for bears. Now they're coming out. And so there is something about this change happening and you meeting someone else. A new situation that is respectful of you. Yeah. And of your heart. That values you and gives just as much as you give. So there is something about balance being restored. You know, you have the two of pentacles with the eight of cups and then the moon here. So it's like you've been thinking about this for a long, long time about moving away from this. And there is something here about you could get some information and you're juggling back and forth about what is right to do and not telling anyone. This is energy of, you know what, I'm just going to leave this company. I'm not going to tell them, you know, thinking about it back and forth in your mind. Or are you already working on something else? before you move forward and not telling them, this is kind of like be smart about how you're going to move forward. That's what this is talking about here because you don't know what it is that they're doing as well. This could be a situation where you find out something here about a person and you want to walk away from this person, but you're preparing yourself to do it at the right time.
This is like sneaking away in the night kind of energy. This is somebody else's juggling. You're finding out a secret that somebody else was juggling. Maybe somebody was telling you they were going to promote you the whole time. And then you find out that they promoted someone else. And they got this promotion that you were you were the one that did all the work for that promotion. You know? And this person, you know, they didn't want you to find out that. This could be a situation where you're finding somebody is not being genuine. Could be a love situation where you found out someone is not being true. They're juggling you and somebody else. They're treating you like an option. There are secrets being kept here. But there's something here that's being brought to light. That's why you have the eclipse here. Because the sun and the moon. So the sun is like showing that something is not being shown with the moon. That's what that's what's going on here. And we just had this lunar eclipse. We're about to have a solar one. There is a time where you're realizing, hey, I'm being juggled. I'm not being valued. Oh, no. That's that. And somebody, you know, they were very careful with their words of how they said things. They made it look like, oh, we don't have the money. The company doesn't have the money. Nobody's getting promoted. Nobody's getting a bonus. And then you find out that's not exactly the case. They want to keep you where they can use you for their benefit. And this could be, you know, yeah, this really has to do a lot with work. Okay. Let's see the five of um, the five of pentacles. You have the four of cups. And the three of swords. You know, there could be some sort of betrayal here that is keeping, you know, the hurt from, don't let this hurt from this betrayal keep you from seeing a new opportunity. Spirit wants you to shift this real quick out of, I can't believe I spent so much time at this company. I gave everything. I can't believe I believed in these people, how much the betrayal actually hurt, right? Versus spirit is like, hey, flip out of that. Flip this into, okay, this is, this was not a healthy situation and spirit is protecting me and moving me to a better situation. And all this time that I spent in this situation that was unhealthy was because this other perfect situation for me that is healthy, that is nourishing, where I am going to be valued, where I am going to be respected, that was being prepared and it wasn't ready. So this was just where spirit was holding me, you know, to get me ready for this new opportunity that is everything that I'm wanting, that is my destiny with the Wheel of Fortune here. See it as that way. Your perception in this shift is very important. That is how quickly things are going to change for you. So you're in control. How long do you want to mourn this? And that is, you know, it's a difficult place to be. It really is, you know. But that doesn't mean it cannot be done. Let's see the Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Swords. You know, somebody here hurt your pride. There was something here that you thought was, you know. Because, you know, he has the same symbol here as the Hierophant. So sometimes the Ten of Swords, we can think something is this commitment. Is this marriage? Is this beautiful thing that is nourishing us is this place that we've been wanting to get to is the student being coming the teacher this is like you know a beautiful exchange here and very secure but it's actually an illusion and it's really you know this you on your own and there's all these knives in your back here so there is something here that you're seeing it for what it really is yeah you have the five of pentacles here again 
So you're seeing that actually you, this was you out in the cold the entire time. You know, this person was giving you a false sense of security because they were not there for you at all. You were giving to something and you were being depleted. But there is something here that you've been hoping and praying for, and it is coming forth. It is coming forth. You know, you have temperance here with this. Page of Cups is a secret admirer card. I feel like there's, there's something else here for you, you know. You have the Nine of Swords and you have the Three of Cups. It's like there's something here that you're left out of now. You're now left out of something. This is giving me energy of like, you know, when there's wolves. And the wolves are all in a pack, right? And the female, you know, she's the pack leader or whatever, right? And all her kids are grown now. And it's like, okay, it's time for you to leave. You have to leave now. And she's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought this was my family. I'm going to stay here. And the wolves are like, yeah, sorry. And they all turn on her all at once. All of them. You know, the older sister gets to say she's going to take over the pack. The guys can come and go when they leave, whenever they want to, you know, but it's like, hey, you don't belong here anymore. And it's, this is just a complete and total shift. People cutting you out that you thought you had something with these people. You thought you, you know what I mean? No. And this is being very devastated here and being very sad in your emotions. But there is something about a different group of people reaching out to you. This is about people that you've forgotten about that you haven't like hung out with in a while a new opportunity to go to an event to be around other people to do something different to celebrate something else here and this is something that it's not attached to drama people it's not attached to people that have betrayed you this is a situation where it's either from your past for a long time ago you haven't been connected to it or it's a completely new opportunity to meet new people. And this is where some kind of a love situation is going to pop up for you. And this is going to get you thinking about, I need to leave. It could be a love situation or get, get you into a different work environment. Yeah, look, you have the Three of Pentacles here. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands. Yeah. So this is something about, hey, you know, I could be really upset about how things are going. About all of this betrayal here. And I could spend my day thinking about this, thinking about this. But you know what? I have an opportunity to just forget this all and, you know, do this instead. Or, you know, what can I, what can I do now? What opportunities do I have now that are different here? It's like being open to that because I feel like there is a lot of beautiful things that are coming in for you here. And, you know, you have this Three of Cups here as well. Two of Cups. Look at this. Yeah, you could really meet a person through going to a different kind of event that you're curious about, that has something to do with an interest that you have going in a different direction and going to some sort of an event or a public place where you can get information about something that you're interested in or like seeing other people. There's things that are going to start to happen because you're setting boundaries with past people. You're taking your life in a different direction by going different places, going around different people, by following your passion. That's what this has to do with. That's what this talks about. Big changes here. Big happy changes here for you. And, uh, okay, this is way too many cards. Let's see. Firm foundation. You know, if you're going to build a new firm foundation, you got to start from the ground up. And that's what you're doing, some of you. You're starting from the ground up on something starting your own company or something, getting to the basics of it, to the core of something that you really care about. And this is the thing is you could be marrying something where this is like the simple basic way that, you know, the traditional beautiful way that people would do things. And now we, like, look at how the world has made a mockery out of it. But can we get back to the basics of it? You know, that's like, 
something here that it's like, okay, we got, we trailed way far away from the real reason we're doing something here. And so this is something here about that talks about that. There's change and there's stability. And some of you, it's like, you know, you're ready for this change. You have a card turned over here. Okay, crown chakra. There's something here that, you know, you can really feel this shift. You haven't fit in around people for a long, long time, and that's getting more and more and more and more prevalent because it's like you are raising your vibration here. And other people, they're not doing that. They're not making these kinds of changes, and so you're just not clicking with people anymore in the way that you used to. There is something about doing a healing, doing a cleansing here, coming from a space of alignment and then moving forward. It's very important that some days it's like, oh my gosh, you know, to take the extra time to meditate, to do this, to do that. You don't want to do that. You'd rather just rush into things and get some results here. But it's like when you do take those times to get back to the basics, to do it the right way. It actually will take you less time because you'll be more refreshed. So this is like doing something the right original way. You have memories of love here, yeah. You have sacrifice and memories of love. Yeah. Some of you may be thinking back to fonder times with other people here and there is something here that, you know, you had to move away from. You had to move away from people, from a situation here that you didn't want to. You wanted something to work out there. And there could be, this could be a very reminiscent time for you. But you know what? She has this rainbow here. So it's like, you know, you're going to see that this was all worth it. That you can do it here. And that's why you have this solar plexus. Uh, chakra here you're finding this confidence within yourself to realize that you don't need anyone else you can do this on your own this is like talking about going your own way believing in yourself here and doing something that other people maybe would consider well this is not the way that things have always been done and that doesn't mean that's the way that they should be done you know and this is this is gonna say you know your dedication to yourself is what matters here at this time you have partnerships and alliances. So you being dedicated and going on your own and thinking, you know, doing what's right for you. This is how other people, like-minded people, higher vibrational people, people that have done this work, people that want to build a, a firm foundation, you know, people that care. This is how you're going to find these kinds of people. This is how you're going to make this sort of change here for yourself. This is really beautiful. Okay. Okay, beautiful. You have flirtation here. Yeah. Going off in this new direction here, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, it's definitely going to lead to some sort of meeting someone, um, running into someone, okay, some sort of flirtatious thing here, okay, that can build and grow. You have negotiation here. And this is what I'm talking about with the sun and the moon. So this is we're in between these two eclipses the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse now. So this is where something is changing. This is where you're negotiating here with the universe over what is it that your life is going to be? Are you going to just surrender? Um, are you just going to give up? And are you just going to follow along with the rest of the sheep? Or are you going to say, you know what? No, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to make this necessary sacrifices to go for my dreams here, because that's the thing is you do have to sacrifice and break away on your own to follow your dreams. That's what this card is really talking about. That's the rainbow here on this card. And you're going to go for it. You're going to start something uh, from the beginning here. You're going to follow your inspiration. That's what these cards are telling you here. Now is the time for you to do this and the universe is going to reward you. You know, it's like the universe is rewarding the brave. Appreciation. You're finally going to get this appreciation. You're finally going to get this recognition 
uh, that you deserve. You don't need to just settle and stay where you're not getting that. It's like a realization that you have been doing that. There's a, a morning period, but don't let that overpower you too much because there's too many beautiful blessings here for you that want to come in for you. And the more you just go forth, the more these blessings are going to come towards you. This new person, this new flirtation. This could be a Sagittarius, uh, a Libra, a uh, Pisces. You also have Leo here. Let's see. You have the Valley. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Yeah, you're coming into this peace. You're finding this peace within yourself. That's the thing is this negotiation card. It's within you. You know, both of these cards are very, she's negotiating within herself. And she's saying, you know, if I'm going to sacrifice anything, it's going to be for my dreams. And that's that. I'm not going to sacrifice my own happiness just so I'm in something familiar. That's not providing any value. I'm not going to do that. And this is how you're assuring the success for you because you're following your own inspiration. You're believing in yourself. You're saying, you know, I don't believe this. You have broken bridge here. Yeah, there is a broken bridge. Somebody here, this is like Selena Gomez. This is the song, um, Lose You to Love Me. You sang off key in my chorus. And it's like, we've all been there in relationships where it's like, you know, you just pretend, you just like, I notice everything, but I act like I don't. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see that. And I'm just going to hope that this is going to get better. But it's like the evidence is right here that this bridge is broken. And it's like, no, you want to burn down my forest. You want to sing off key in my chorus. You're out of here. You know, I when I'm singing in your chorus, I'm singing to the best of my ability. I want to help this make it better. And when you're going to be singing in my chorus, you want to be off key on purpose? No. No, that's not how this works, you know, and this is how you have this marriage card and look at this rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Yeah, you are sacrificing a relationship that isn't working. That's right. Financial, friendships, love, you are. <laughs> but you know what? That is going to lead to you getting the one that is. You know, this difficulty that you've been facing, it's over. It's going to get less and less every single day. You are appreciating, you're valuing yourself. And this is why you're going to find someone, uh, the right situation, the support in your life where you're going to be valued. You're really beautiful. I feel like rainbows are a sign for you. You could see rainbows somewhere in a, in a movie they sing about it in a song. You see a, a real rainbow outside. You know, that's a sign for you that this is a new beginning for you and to keep going forward and to believe in yourself that you can do this. Okay, that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Thank you so much. If you want to like or subscribe, I will greatly appreciate it, okay? Um, also, I have a book. It's called One Light. It's all about the law of attraction and manifesting. So if you're interested, it's in the description. And I also I have a TikTok too, okay? Thank you so much.